central nervous system that what are the parts that make up the central nervous system so there are two main parts brain and spinal cord is it clear you can see mm -hmm. in the image that there is brain and the, from the brain the extension is spinal cord in the yellow color yeah all right so uh, this is the diagram for you to understand that where is spinal cns located in our skull we are uh, looking at from the parietal section from the side view that there is skull the brain is housing in the skull and from skull the spinal cord is branching the spinal cord is coming down that is traveling in our vertebral column there is a canal between in the vertebral column we will be looking at this but the brain is housing in our cranium skull and the spinal cord is housing in our vertebral column mm -hmm. is it clear yes uh, do you recognize the shaded structure that is lying beneath the main brain structure that pink yeah. shaded area what is it it's a uh, it's skull it's a skull but uh, i am talking about Which? the shaded area the shaded area the small structures that is the uh, cerebrum and the cerebellum cerebellum yes you're right that is cerebellum and in front of the cerebellum that uh, light yellow colors uh, that uh, fiber like structure is your spinal cord that is moving in the vertebral column is it clear yes all right this is your skull and we are looking from inferiorly we, the skull is at the top we are looking at from the inferior side and uh, what i'm mm, trying to show is the foramen magnum that the skull the brain is housing in our cavity cranium cavity and from for the spinal cord to come out of the brain you need a passage uh, your examiner can ask that where the brain terminates and spinal cord starts what is the structure in the skull that structure that the arrow is pointing is your foramen magnum mm -hmm. at this point the brain terminates and the spinal cord starts and beneath the foramen magnum is your vertebral column your cervical spine starts c1 c2 c3 and so on you have any confusion in this is the brain stem uh, uh, already a part of the um, spinal cord or is it still part of the uh, encephalon of the brain brain stem terminates at foramen magnum beneath the foramen magnum is your spinal cord okay so foramen magnum is the point you need to remember the point where brain terminates the brain stem is a part of the brain the brain terminates and the spinal cord starts so mm -hmm. we need uh, we need this uh, to visualize to understand that this structure this is the structure from where spinal cord is passing all right yes okay so here we go beneath the skull the point where the skull is ended is your c1 vertebra that is your axis the image on the left side and on the right side is your axis you have studied a uh, skull anatomy before yes in all the first right. year all right when the skull terminates the beneath the skull there are vertebras that is making up our vertebral column the first vertebra that is c1 is known as atlas and the second vertebra is your axis the thing i want you to focus is the passage you see uh, like in a ring form can you see it in the both vertebras yes uh, the central uh, foramina yes the central foramina this is this is the area from where the spinal cord is going to pass there was foramen magnum where the uh, the brain terminated and from after that the spinal cord is starting and spinal cord is passing through these spaces so we will be clear about that where, from where the spinal cord lies you have any confusion in this um which uh, ligature or structure is uh, enclosing this uh, central canal you see that is your anterior tubercle uh, in the atlas anterior tubercle and there is posterior tubercle and there is transverse foramen you can see there is a passage the uh, uh, the area where it is written lateral masses you can see that area in first cervical vertebra yeah so this is the area you can see that it is surrounded by in area there is anterior arch there is superior arch to the space it there is uh, right uh, later to that there is transverse foramen we are not studying the anatomy of cervical spine we are just studying the passage of the our spinal cord so that we can know that where it is located so uh, when uh, in the clinical area when we see a patient so uh, with spinal cord symptoms so we understand that where it is located all right yes this is clear see okay. uh, this is a typical vertebra this is your typical cervical vertebra and the area that is uh, denoted by number 5 is your canal from where spinal cord is passing anterior to that it is your body of vertebra and posterior to that it is the spinous process of cervical vertebra so right now i want you to focus on the area from which spinal cord is going to pass is it clear 